Herzen sein. Puh. Ja, das ist, fishing is not this easy. It's hard work. But it's awesome when you when you get it right. Stoked. Let's get another live bait out there and see if we can get another one. Well, where there's one, there's bound to be another. And a lot easier on a ski boat when you're not worrying about the bloody surf. Come on, circle, look. Before I destroy this mackerel. Stoked with that. <laughs> oh, that is the most insane bait. No, oh, don't fall apart on me. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Swim, boy. Swim, 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 swim. Yeah, it looks okay. I'll turn around and go back. Where there's one, there's normally another. Ah, awesome, man. Gonna get the rest of the boat sorted out. A bit of chaos going on here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's get it back on the road. Now the nice thing about towing a live bait so slowly is I can throw a paddle tail at the same time. <laughs> pretty pretty wild to do this. It's a nice little bank here, so it doesn't really matter if I go slowly. Let's keep it in gear. Ferros's bearings need some attention. I've had this reel for a million years as well. It's almost as old as I am. She caught a massive GT on this in in uh, Cosmolito when I went fishing with Keith uh, Rosinas with Flycast away. I got a 60 kilo GT on this outfit. Not on this particular one, I had a jigging stick, but yeah, you don't need the best equipment to catch a good fish. Just need to go to the right place. Now I'm towing a live bait, but I just wanted to show you. You can see where this white water goes around there and there's a little there's a little hip here. You can see that little bit of clearer blue deeper water there. These little holes, I call them hips. And these fish love to go and lie in these little eddies. Because there you can see you can see the bank there where it's breaking. There's a little a little uh, horseshoe sort of bank and then you see this little hip here and they love to come and sit in these areas like this. So I'm gonna throw the paddle tail while we're going slowly. But this looks really good right here. You can see the little edge of the bank and then this hip. Keep that live bait tight. I don't want the circle loop to turn onto the bait. It's a bit of a problem. And this looks really good here. The tide's fully low now, so the problem is I'm throwing into the wind a little bit. Really good, right there. See the sand starting to spill here. Really good little area right here. Let me just give that a bit of free spool. Come on. I think we've been picked up. Just don't drop it. Got a paddle tail out the back. Oh, don't drop it. Don't drop it. It's going to drop this down here. It seems like it's still got it. Yep, it's still got it. Well, this bank looked good. Seems very static. I don't know what. Yeah, it's still going. Scratch it off. 
this boat into gear. I don't know what it is. Let's give it a bit of a chance. Those are big Mackies. All right, I'm going to lock it up. Yeah, we're on, boys. <laughs> the liveys are doing the job today. Ah, getting up in the slack line yet. Yeah. And just get this drag set nicely. Woo. Ah, dropped it. Oh no. Shit. Oh, I think that hook's pulled. I doubt that's a shark, but it feels very light. I think everything's come off there, or the hook's pulled. I think that might have been something. <laughs> of that line that was so tortured, I just parted off on that little tortured bit of line. Too much drag. Oh man, you idiot. You idiot. Oh well. <laughs> I did say it was tortured. I think I just lost a nice cob. Anyway, let's get something baited up. We go again. That's also what happens when you're trying to do too many things. <laughs> South Pier Syndrome, eh? <laughs> anyway, let me get this put away. I've got another, get another live yard. Damn it, man, that looked like a, another nice fish. Anyway, <laughs> luckily we're not doing it for a living. Oops, anyway, I've only got a shad here. Oh, it's gone overboard. Um, hopefully it's going to swim. That's all I got. The Mackies are finished. Oh, looks good. Oh, man, so peeved. I should have swapped over onto this rig. That line wasn't looking good. Yeah. Murphy's Law. <laughs> See what happens with the shad. Right in that little bank, right there where I was throwing the paddle tail. You can see that, that U shape, I mean that, that... The horseshoe shape there on the bank there. Right there. That's looking so good. You pro probably would have get one on the Rapala as well, but they take in the live bait, so I'm going to stick to it. Ah, we're on again. I just brought the shad in to see it. It wasn't swimming too well, but I thought, well, I've only got one left, so I'll just leave it. <laughs> Same bank. It's quite a big shad, so oh, let's hope we hook up this time. Oh, it's still running. All right, we're going to hook him up and let's see what happens. Looks like it's on. This is smaller by the feel of it. What's going on here? It's on. I don't know what it is. It feels smaller. Probably a small cob. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we lost that other one. Oh, that's amazing. We haven't had a hit on the on the on the rapies. Probably because of the water. That the water's so uh, so sodery and dirty that we're not we're not getting pulls on the rapies. There's no visibility, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I just brought the. Uh, I just brought that shad in to have a look at it. It wasn't swimming that well, but I was like, wow, I've only got one left. And there's another couple of banks up the front here, so I'm just going to take my time going home. No rush. And rugby's pretty shitty these days anyway. <laughs> I'd much rather do this. Feels dead weight. Feels like a cob. It's not so small. Ah, it's got a bit of weight. Great if it's another nice big cop. Well, this is something which I haven't done a lot of, but I'll certainly be doing a bit more of. But even on a big day, you can come and fish here, no problem. You know, you just got to stay awake. Uh, and if you, know, if you can get live baits one and it's working like this, well, wow. The guys, I'm getting a lot of decent cob on the, off the beach uh, on baits. So, and that's generally where you get your bigger fish. So yeah, whoop, uh, he's got a bit of a kick to him. 
problem with these uh, star drag you don't know with light tackle you don't know what you don't know what your track setting is which is a mess the other fish we lost was just, I could feel the abrasion on the line it was my fault oh, oh well great day I started off slowly I wasn't sure if we we're gonna get anything it's quite fed up the last while I think if I'd been doing this the last two days, I might have had a bit more, bit more. Yep. Ah. <laughs> My old surf reels. <laughs> Ooh. Eh, eh. Not the best drags. Ah, oh, it's a decent fish. This. You get a bit of reverse going here. Ooh, that nice fish. This. It's obviously coming towards us. So I couldn't, couldn't feel anything. That's got a bit of weight to it. I'm going to switch off until we get a bit closer. Now the nice thing about having, having these fish on circle hooks is you, you're less likely to lose them. And I'm using a, I'm using, whoa, I'm using a, a eagle claw, bullfish, uh, nino I think they are. And we use them on the sailfish and these things are, you just can't beat this hook. Narrow gauge. Whoa, I'm even using them on the bullfish now as well, on the bigger bullfish. Uh, for the stripies and and the blues. Prefer this narrow gauge. Wow, this fish looks like it's got a bit of go to it. <laughs> Might be bigger than I thought. Alright, I'm gonna shut it off again. Just licked the lens, I'd forgotten to do that. There's so many things you gotta remember, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's still taking a bit of line. Feels like a nice fish, man. Feels stronger than the last one. But maybe I was just excited. <laughs> you just can't beat this stuff. Really, you can't. I mean, this is the game fishing of the rock and surf, that's for sure. Look at, that, look at that swell at the back. It's still pretty big. Oh, I've got to watch behind me. Oh, I'll get reversed onto this bank here. This fish feels really good. So you're getting blown back. You got the southeast starting to come up now. I'm being blown backwards onto the beach uh, and pushed by the waves. So, yeah, lots to take take note of. <laughs> but I call it extreme fishing. This is such fun. Wow, this thing feels solid, man. Take a bit of a drive closer. Hopefully we're gonna get a look at it just now. I never know whether this camera's straight on my head or whatever. And the angle, you know, you just gotta guess. It's not like having a cameraman on the boat filming you while you do your stuff and you can do a little talk and you know, your hands free and you don't have to watch the surf. <laughs> Manic fishing, woo! This fish feels really nice. up onto him now. There's the bait. Oh, what's, what's this kicking? I don't know, it feels dangerous. I hope this thing's not being eaten by a shark or something. It feels weird. Oops. Big bangs. Oh, don't tell me you're getting eaten. Oh, I've seen this with Marlin before. Don't do that to me, please. I'll shit myself. Big head knocks all of a sudden. Oh man, don't tell me. It never happened to me before here, yeah, but it might have been tail wrapped or something. Man, this fish feels heavy. And I hope we got some battery power left. On, almost onto the leader here. Oh man. It's getting backed up onto the surf here. Yeah, oh, this is my problem. I got reversed up onto the surf here. I'm gonna back up here, but I feel like getting pounded here in this beach break here.
Come on, baby, just show yourself. I don't mind if you come off after that. Just want to see what it looks like. I've got a really short double line here as well, so. Oh, fish is strong, man. Solid weight, a lot heavier than the other fish. Come on, show yourself, show yourself, show yourself. Come on, I just can't get a view of it. I'm thumbing the, thumbing the leader now. There we go. Ah, oh, nice cob. I'm giving it a lot of pressure now. Yeah. <laughs> thumbing it against the, the grip of the. Yeah. Yeah, same class. Nice. you can see I hope it's facing the right way <laughs> putting a lot of pressure on it now there's only 27 kilo leader yeah this fish is nice man. 15 on maybe 18 it's driving the boat at the same time yeah nice broad fish a lot more a lot more body to the other one than the other one this is probably 18, 18, 20. Oh, very fat fish, this is very broad in the body. Just pulling it out a bit. Hanging on here with one hand. Oh, good day. Oh, no, this is a bigger fish. Oh. He's just lying in the water here. Let's just get out of here. Let's get this hook out. Okay. I don't think a bait's going to go for a second round, but <laughs> it's still flapping. Oh, what a day, man. So cool. Anyway, let me just get a tag out you quickly <laughs> awesome stuff man Ooh, I can't take a selfie with it yeah man I gotta watch what I'm doing here come on baby Ah, oh, there she goes. I hope you got that. Oh man, I hope that was on film. Oh, what a day. Fun shit, man. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Hanging on with my toes. Oh man, so those are the 15 and 18 kilo cob for the morning. I've got one more bait, so I'll give it a pull. Oh, great days fishing. Finally, I think I might have stumbled onto something as well. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Let me get everything set up. Now, yeah, I was a real tosser today. <laughs> I saw that damage on the line and I had another rig gear, so I could have just swapped them out, which I did after I lost it. Now, Murphy's a, Murphy's a bastard. If there's something that can go wrong and you know about it, you know it's going to go wrong. Yeah, you got to do your homework and make sure your stuff's right. Anyway, luckily we got another one, so it's turned out to be an insane day. Now, oh, big shout out to Richard, it's Spinner's Tackle in Richard's Bay. Shot for the cap, but yeah, I'm gonna see you probably in uh, two weeks or so. See the marlins on there, so yeah, hopefully, we come and catch a few. Come visit the bay again. See you in a couple of days. Well, I did say stick around, it's just a matter of time. Well, it's time. And if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the fishing, Click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get notifications for the next video.
hopefully some good bullfish. Hope you enjoyed the program. Catch you next time.